All right, everyone, and we're back. Uh, this is Stormy Kretschmar, your graduate program academic advisor. I am wanting to take you through how you register in Howdy, how you search for classes in Howdy, and what that looks like. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're actually going to go to Howdy. So that's howdy.tmu.edu. Head there, and then you're going to log in using your net ID and your password. Oh, I'm not sure what just happened. Try that again. There we go. All right, so this is what your Howdy portal is gonna look like. I have a lot going on in my Howdy portal because I am an employee, I'm an academic advisor. Um, so you're not gonna see a lot of these tabs up here at the top. You should see home, you should see applicant, my record, my finances, and you may see some of these other things. Once you become an employee, if you take that route, you can see the employee tab. Um, faculty and teaching, you won't see. Advising, you won't see. Research, you may see, I'm not sure. Um, but you, like I said, you'll have less tabs than me. But to search for classes, you're going to log into Howdy and you're gonna to go to my record. From there, you're going to go to this second box on the left and you're going to say search classes new. This is going to take you to the new portal for class searching and you're going to select the term. So we're going to select fall 2019. If it doesn't actually show up right there, just use the drop down menu and say fall. Of course, if you're looking for spring or summer, whatever term you're looking for, you'll notice that in here you may see other locations. So always be sure that you select the right um, campus that you're going to. Say continue. Here is where they've actually added some features to the searching. So let's say you want to search a math course and you also want to search a stat course. You can do both. And all I'm doing here is I'm just typing in um, the actual, I guess, like you could type in civil engineering, right? And it will pop right up. You don't actually have to know the code for the department that you're looking for. So for now, let's just search math. And let's say I want to search 601. You just enter in 601. You can go to advanced search. There's a little button here, it says open section only. I always encourage students to select that because what's the point in searching sections that are closed unless you're looking for something very specific and you wanna to try to be added to a class or forced in. Um, from here, you can search for an instructor, any instructor who is here on campus, professor. You can do an attribute, and an attribute is something like distance education. So you could search math 601 distance education. Campus, you could search college station. So you could add that in if you wanted to. You can add in levels. So you could say, I only want graduate. Um, you could look for a building, a college, a department, um, instructional method, schedule type, uh, duration, part of term, title, sessions. These down here, you're not really going to deal with. Attribute is really helpful and instructor is really helpful. And then of course using this little box right here for open sections only. You can also do credit ranges and you can do meeting days. I find that if you use meeting days, it sometimes limits your searching in a way that you may not want it to limit. So I encourage students to not use that and also don't use start and end times. So what we've done is we've, let's go ahead and get rid of distance education. We're searching for Mass 601, and actually let's get rid of the open sections because we're already in session for classes, so they may all be full, so nothing may show up. Um, so let's go ahead and just hit search at the very bottom. There we go. There are our math courses for fall 2019, um, and we didn't, and we'll hear a college station because we went ahead and selected um, in that fall 2019, that first drop down box, when we decided what term, it said college station. So we're pretty much only pulling college station. So you can see this is what we have offered. The title will be the first thing that you see. Oh, don't want to click on it. Uh, the CRN is very important. That's the course 
registration number, I believe is how they say that. That is a five digit number that is the key code block, as it were, for that course. That's how we actually register you. Um, so if I went into the system and you said, I want Math 601, I'd be, I would say, great, what's the CRN? Uh, subject name comes next, uh, course number, and then the section number. And you can see that the, the course number for these two are the exact same, 601, but the section numbers are different, so 601 and 603. Then you have the credit hours, three for both. The instructor, so this is two different courses, well, same course, but two different instructors. Attribute, says College Station. You could also see distance education in there. Uh, you may see web, web-based. You may see other things related to um, other codes. A lot of codes are used for undergraduate. Um, you may see like graduate students only. Uh, term type, standard, it's your typical, you know, full term uh, class. Then your meeting times. So you can see that this one, is this top one is on Tuesday and Thursday. So the ones that are highlighted in gray is actually when it meets. It meets from 8 a.m. to 9.15 a.m. It is a lecture. It is in building blocker, room 161. And these are the start and end dates. So you can see it runs the full term. It starts August 26th and runs till December 11th, just before finals. Status basically says how many seats remaining. So in this top one, there's one of 45 seats remaining. In this bottom one, there's 28 of 45 seats remaining. I assume the bottom one didn't get as much traction because it is a much later date or time. Um, same day, but it runs until five, after five o'clock. Instructional type, face-to-face. -face, so it's your traditional lecture and then you're not gonna be able to see roster. Um, that is only for something that I can see as a graduate advisor. So that's kind of how you search a course. If you wanna go and say search again, let's go to the very top and let's say we wanna search for BAN and I'm wondering if we actually have a course called BAN 601. Let's see if we can find that. So BAN 601, let's go to the very bottom, let's say search and actually we are offering it. Uh, so let's see if I can find something that I know won't be there and show you what that looks like. Let's try 661. All right, so I searched for 661 and it did not come up. So this is what it looks like if, it, if, if there's not actually a course being offered. So that is just a quick rundown on how you search for classes.